Large language model code assistants are very popular nowadays. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Google's Gemini large language model right in your IDE as a code assistant. The best thing about it is that there's a free tier and you can get started and test it right now without paying any subscriptions upfront. Before talking about installation, we need to mention IDE or code editor support. In this video, I will show you three viable options. Visual Studio Code, of course, which is the most popular code editor right now. I will also show you how you can integrate Gemini AI in JetBrains IDEs using WebStorm as an example, but the process is equivalent or very similar for all JetBrains IDEs. And finally, I'll show you how you can use it in Z, where there is a built-in integration and you don't even need to use an extension for that. You will need to create a Google Cloud project in order to use the extensions in the code editors. I'll show you how you can create a Google Cloud project upfront before installing the extension. To get an API key, go open Google Cloud by searching for Google Cloud in Google, then go to the console section. From the drop down in the upper left corner, you can open the project dialog and select new project. From here, you just have to type the project name which doesn't matter if you use this project only for large language model assistance. After that, we're ready to use the project in our code editors. To install in VS Code, go to the extensions panel, search for Gemini in the marketplace, open the Google Gemini Code Assist plus Google Cloud Code and install it. After that, you can open the extension from the sidebar and click select a Google Cloud project. And here, after you log in with your Google account, you will find the project we created. After that, you're ready to use the extension. There are two primary workflows that these extensions support. Inline Assist, which is used while you're writing code. You can prompt Gemini to generate a snippet and insert it in the current file you're working in. And the other use case is to open the prompt chat, where you can chat with the large language model directly set context and ask a specific question where it will return code and you can copy and paste it in the file that you find appropriate or create a new file, of course. In an IntelliJ ID, go to plugin, search for Gemini and open Gemini Code Assist. Click install. After the installation completes, you're able to restart the ID. And if you, we create a new project now, we get the Gemini Code Assist panel where we can log into Google Cloud after I log in, I can just select the project just like in VS Code. And I'm ready to start using Gemini's Code Assistant in IntelliJ IDEs. In Z, open the Assistant panel, click the drop down with large language models. You can click Configure there. You can enter your Google AI API key, which you can take from Google Cloud. And after that, you're ready to start using the model in Z. So, this is how you can use the Gemini Code Assistant in your code editor. I want to mention that I would not recommend generating large amounts of code that you do not understand with a large language model and just adding them to your code base and expecting that would work. And um, you can't really generate large amounts of code, put them together and have a working application. These language models do not generate sophisticated code or code that can integrate with each other well. They're used best really as assistants for things you understand how they should work, but they're just boring or mundane snippets that you have to write over and over with slight tweaks. They're great at that. They can help you write code that you already know, because then you can see what they wrote, adjust it, and fix any errors that they have. In addition, uh, Gemini also will tell you that the code it generates might be subject to license issues and it cannot guarantee that this code is free to use or not licensed somewhere because it's a large language model so it analyzes millions of lines of code of course billions probably so these recommendations of mine are to really use it as an assistant for very boring and mundane tasks or just ask a simple question like uh, what type I should use for my React code base in TypeScript. Sometimes it can quickly return an answer and be a more viable choice than going to Google search. Sometimes if the question is more complex and you cannot validate it easily, 
it might uh, really put you in the wrong path and give you a wrong answer. So be careful with that. With this, I'll wrap today's video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when another video is released. Take care.